Orlando Boquete in conviction for attempted sexual battery and burglary was finally vacated by DNA testing on the victim's clothing. The crime was committed June 25 of 1982. The victim misidentified Boquete at the trial. He testified that he had been home the entire evening with his family watching TV. The evidence that the semen collected on her underwear was taken prima facie and Boquete spent 23 years falsely convicted, 14 of which was in prison. He had to motion the court to take action on his beliefs and a private laboratory conducted the test and the conviction was overturned on that day, the 23rd of May, 2006. It's kind of a, a very interesting story. I understand that, uh, Orlando, you were a Cuban. In 1980. In 1980, you came over here as a refugee. Yeah, they call us Marielito. Pardon me? Marielito, they call us Marielito, 1980. Cuban refugee. Um, yours is a very sad story that you had to stay in there, and I understand, you know, Jeff, uh, next to you, um, Jeff Deskovich, spent 16 years uh, in prison, so the both of you have spent a significant amount of time, and I do want to, towards the end of the program, get into the changeover that you had to, because that's a, when we did that program last time, Jeff, it was so important to talk about what it was like not to be there and to try to rejoin the surface of the world, the planet that you had to go to. Right, exactly. <laughs> so I want him to be able to, you know, walk me through what he went through, all right? Sure. Um, there's a little bit of an, uh, uh, an English understanding difference. The difference is a poquito, pero es no problem. importante. No speak okay? my English. I yeah. learn English okay, and I prison. can't speak uh, no más en español. Uh, so, uh, Jeff, just real quick, just so we can highlight film that what you did before we get into Orlando's story. Real quick, how are you doing now? Is everything okay, you know, based on your, um, the 16 years you spent in or are you, your organization? Tell me just real quickly about that. Yeah, sure. So. Um, I feel like I'm pretty well adjusted. I mean, I, as you know, I was in, incarcerated wrongfully for 16 years prior to being exonerated through DNA testing. Similar charge? Uh, similar charge, yeah. It was a rape bill with, uh, with, with the murder. Uh, also similar DNA uh, excluded me. As a matter of fact, Orlando and I were both exonerated in the same year, uh, coincidentally back in 2006. And upon my release, I've, you know, I've been an advocate. Wow. Uh, and I have the nonprofit organization and we uh, free similarly situated people and we work to prevent wrongful convictions and help exonerees afterwards. Uh, briefly, we're in the middle of uh, fundraising for the organization. There's a, a crowdfunding site called Patreon, which um, we're looking for a lot of people who can part with a small amount of money on a recurring basis, even if it's just $3. I mean, sacrifice a cup of coffee once out a week. If I get 25,000 people doing that, you know, I, can, I would have a $900,000 budget with which to hire additional lawyers, investigators, and paralegals to help free people. Uh, in our organization's history, the Jeffrey Deskovic Foundation for Justice, we exonerated uh, one person. We helped three other people uh, get their freedom. It was clear they were innocent from the record, so we prevailed on the parole board to release them. We helped four people get uh, reintegrate, and we have another exoneration that's going to oh. take place. All right. Uh, it, there's already an, an acknowledgement that our client is. You innocent. weren't able to help Orlando though, because he I came at the not. same time as you, that's and your right. organization wasn't there yet, right? That's right. Exactly right. When he, when you both came out, you didn't have an organization such as yours to work with, right? I did not. No, and so it was very. Uh, uh, difficult for him. As a matter of fact, it's still difficult for him, but we'll get into that later on in the program. Okay, sure, yes we will. I want you to support me on this one. Um, totally. As a, as a legal reformer, the citizens need to take action to get some of these lives that were, in my opinion, wasted. I mean, they were... If I can just jump in for yeah. a half second on that point, just because this part's related to New York while Orlando's story is um, Florida. Uh, so there's <coughs> currently legislation pa uh, pending right now. It's uh, Senate Bill 24, uh, Assembly Bill 1131. And basically it would establish a commission on prosecutor conduct, uh, an oversight, independent oversight board for the prosecutors, prosecutorial misconduct being a big th common thread through most of the wrongful convictions. It's pending in Albany right now. We need as many uh, of the viewers as possible and then some to call their elected officials and voice their support for that bill. I think that we have a chance to get it passed this year. It would be the country's <coughs> first oversight board for prosecutors. Doesn't it seem like that should have happened a long time ago? It, it really should have. You're right. I agree completely. Listen, judges have oversight. There's a commission on judicial conduct. Even every profession has an oversight board, even down to the barber. Why not the prosecutors? Right. And I know that uh, it takes a long time to get a bill 
to the point that this is at. You got the Senate bill number and the Assembly bill number, so. Strong bipartisan Good luck on support. that. And if I can do anything to help you support, if you give me a copy of it or just sure. give me the number, I'll search it online to get it. I'll be glad to support you. Thank you. And then I'm sure Thank Orlando you. feels the same way, right? Thanks. Absolutely, he does. Um, <clears throat> so, seeing you for the first time, I don't really know you. Uh, g g give us, uh, y habla con despacio, si también. Yes. Uh, que, que pasa con tu yo, and from empieza in the beginning. In the beginning? Yeah. When, uh, after I get out in 2006? Well, no. no, he want to know about your case. Uh, explain, what were you oh, arrested for? What the was the evidence against you? Tell oh, your story. Oh, See. my case, okay. Okay, I came from Cuba in 1980. I'm 27 years old, 26 years old. And the uh, pictures, we have the pictures yes. to back up well, how, what you look like the then. DOC. That's <coughs> the first person, that's the person I Okay, okay. I skate. Uh, uh, Two years later, uh, about one and a half year later, I go to, I watch in my, um, the, uh, the remember the Spain uh, soccer, the Mundial de España, si. the Spain soccer, okay? Si. El, equip, el equipo de Mundial. In 1982, uh, yes, they did it in Spain, all right. I watch the TV and with my, with my family, we watch the game, the soccer game, and we go to a store later to buy, it's late, late, real late, about after 12 o'clock, middle night. Um, we go to a store to buy beer. This, this, that day, uh, you see the picture, I got all my hair. But that day, exactly in the morning, my cousin Richard, he, he tried to cut my hair, but he missed my hair and he shaved my, my hair. I look like a bald head, like I don't have hair. <laughs> and when I go to a store, I get out of the store, only I see is two police cars about 15 foot front of me, or 20 foot in front of me. One police call me, I go over there. In, fr in front of the other In the front of the store, the, the tienda, town town. Yeah, town okay. town in Florida Key. Uh, when I go over there, one police grab me, Afro-American police grab me, grab my mom. My, put my face top on the police car. In that moment, I don't speak no English, you know? I don't speak no English. I no imagine what's going on. Because you were only in the country for a short while at that yeah, point. Yeah, for one year and a half. Year and I figured out my income tax. I'm a normal... Uh-oh, I don't like this country. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I'm a normal uh, uh, good boy, you know? Yeah. I know. Uh, I got future, I got my dream, why I moved from, from Cuba to over here, I live with yeah, my I'm family. I'm talk to you about that later, I don't okay. see my family for 36 years. Remind me. I live with my son in Cuba in 1980, in 1980, my son is three years old. I never see again. Yeah. I never see my, my son again, I never come back to Cuba. Because, okay, let me go back to a point. When they are arrested, I, I don't imagine, I don't know what's going on. I don't speak English, I don't understand nothing, no war. Okay, they sent me to a county jail. Next day, a what? A, a to the county jail. County jail. County, oh, the county, county jail. jail. They okay. sent to me to a county jail. Um, I waited over there for eight months to a trial. They tried me make deal. They tried to give to me three years probation. Three if, years if probation. If three years probation, probation if he admitted that he... Guilty. Yes, sir. Okay. If I pled guilty. Um, to what? What was the charge, by the way? The charge they give to me 50 years for burglaries with assault. The I'm 15, fi year. 15 years. Uh, 50, 50, 50. 50? 50 for burglary with assault. I'm 15 years wrong on coming for intent and sense of battery. 15 years wrong together. It's two charges. But they put one, the, the, the sense of battery, they put wrong together. Concurrent charge, they call them, right? Yes. Yeah. Sir, so they charge you with that. What was the evidence they used against you? What they, what they used Okay, the they. They said they got my blood. They got my blood. Mm -hmm. They 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 may. They took it. They take my blood. See. They take my blood. They found the blood, in in in, in, in the criminal place. Where that happened, they found the blood. At and the they, crime scene. The crime scene, and they may taking my blood test. My blood's all positive. Yeah. No matches with, to the other blood, but they don't care. Never. Ne they never have, found, have my fingerprints. They, did they were able to match it at that time? 
No, my blood and my. That's what he's saying. That they didn't match it. It didn't even back then. His case didn't make sense because the blood. That's type what I'm saying. Didn't it didn't match at that time. And then the fingerprints didn't match. So no, no. fingerprints, no blood. No Keep blood, going. and they deny. Me, they, I ask for the line out. I like. I ask for the polygraph because, be, before they arrest to me, one year before when I live in Miami, I work in the store. Uh, uh, in the store to get that job, they, I, 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 I take it, you have to take a polygraph. I take a polygraph. Okay, I ask, ask for polygraph. I ask for the line out, they deny to me. And they do, they, they do to me two police, write two police reports. The first one, they break. And they write next day, they all the police report. Two police reports in my so, case. So the first one they destroyed? Is that they what you're destroyed, saying? They destroyed. They okay. destroyed. That's being my transcript. Everything I tell you right that now, there was a be in my transcript. So they, d in your transcript, it says that the first police report was destroyed. Yes, I talk about that. They deny it. But I talk about that. Okay. They know they did it. In my attorney, they know. Look at what happened in my trial. I, I have poly defended attorney, female. June Rice, she know I'm more innocent. She do good job in my case. I never, never ask her to the trial, to the judge, change my attorney, the deal. And someday I'll be in the cell and she's come to my cell and she cry and cry and cry. Oh, she came to your cell? So to my okay. cell. Okay. I asked to her with somebody else, another inmate, interpreter, translated me because I don't speak no English. Right. Right. The translator is inmate. They use inmate. They know another inmate. Real no, another inmate. Okay. See, they don't use in <laughs> that time. That time. That year in the eighties. Anybody they could get. Yeah. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. And I, I asked to her, why you cry? I'm happy with you. You know I'm more innocent. You know I go be. You go be. You go when you can. And they say, no, Orlando, I can't represent to you anymore. I say, why not? You don't like my case? She said, yes. And she still cried. They kick it out. Yeah. And they paid. The state paid the private, private attorney. They gave Leave you more. a different attorney. But what was Yeah, the but they, they uh, had to come up with funding to pay for the attorney. Yeah, right. That's just the state or the, the county. They or, did it, but they did it. I know, I know I never okay. asked you. I never okay. asked you for that. I don't like I don't, I don't like that. Yeah, you that, want that anyway. Yeah, that you attorney have... cross, cross me out. He is still being in Florida again. Henry Lee Mogustin. Harry Lee Mogustin, he corrupt attorney in that moment because in 1980s in Florida, they got the sitting, the sitting have corrupt problem. This I don't is know if you hear the Bruce, Bruce Clean organic. This, uh, but just going back the to the trial though, but what did, with, there's no f fingerprint, no blood. What did they use as evidence? They used something. Only they use the, they say they got the victim inside the, the, the police car. But then they never shut down the, 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 the police car window. I don't see no victim. They say somebody, some woman inside the car, point me. That's the man. Because so, I'm so more hate and got more. Word of mouth only. No, uh, the victim no came, physical did evidence. The victim come no to physical court? evidence. Did the never have physical evidence. Did okay. the victim come to court and say that's him? No, they bring the victim inside the car, Jeff. Right, but not he, in the courtroom? In the courtroom later, they bring. Mm -hmm. But the victim have the hat and cover the face. Look at that. I don't know what they do. I, uh, they do that because, uh, well, th they don't want, if ever you get out, to okay, recognize okay, the okay, face. Right. They know I don't get out because they know. <laughs> 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 they know, no, no. <laughs> if only, they know. Yeah. And they separated, she from Spain. They separated, translated. Uh, she, old lady, la momia yo me. She cried, she cried. She told me, Orlando, this is the last. The last job I do for did, interpreting. Did yeah. you did you ever write her a letter? To I of believe thanks? she passed away. Uh, to who? To to, 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 to the, the attorney, attorney that was helping you, the one that cried. Ah, you right. La Juvia. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful point you touch now. She passed away about breast cancer. Uh, when I be in prison, I promise to my God, God. If you are someday oh you take me God, out of yeah, here, terrible. I go run the seven mile bridge. They, they if, want then I then. open my mouth, show you the seven mile bridge teacher half.
2007. Was, okay. Was, okay. I promise to my God, if I get out of here someday, I go run a seven mile bridge in Key West and her name. And her name. Yeah, I did. I got the t-shirt here. Oh no. yeah, okay. I got the t-shirt. You got her name on the shirt? No, but I put ah. the, the June <laughs> Rice. I put the name, one t uh, running, I put the, the her name, June Rice, 1982. She passed away. Uh, uh, how old was she? Count on you. Well, when I'm there, read to me, I'm 27. I believe she's 30, 30 song, 33 or 34, but she passed away, I don't know exactly. I know she passed away about breast cancer because when they exonerated me, exonerated me in 2006, they take me, they me back to the court. Richard Payne. I would write about Richard Payne. Too bad. Richard Payne. How about a family? Does she have a sister or something? Or a I had to discover it because I will write to me. There. If you ever have the time to do that, you thank should. For sure. We can do a lot of work. That they'd appreciate it. Yes, yes, for sure. I don't know if you have a liaison so in that, your organization, well, but that's I not I a bad idea. Find, I tried to find, uh, but. Uh, Richard Payne, the judge, it's only leave me now. He tried to help me to get my compensation. He, he made it from Monroe County in Florida. Mm -hmm. All right? Um, so you thank him too, I guess. He know. go write the letter to a legislator, to a government risk car, and to a, a state attorney in Miami, general state attorney in Miami, and he go help to me. Do you know why I know uh, you right pass away about breast cancer? Because when they take me to the court in 2006 to exonerate me, innocent project in New sure. York, um, you, um, uh, the judge put the hand, the hand grabbed me like this, and he asked to me, Orlando, do you remember your first attorney? I said, for sure, you rise. Get they kick her out to my, from my trial. And she come and cry to, my, to myself. He told me, Orlando, she here to date. And Nina Morrison, my attorney from Innocent Project, because I said it, I said, Josh, I want to see her. Yeah. But Nina Morris said to the judge, hold on, hold on, judge. Let me explain to her, to Orlando. And she grabbed me up, she said, Orlando, she passed away oh. about breast cancer. And she here, and she here the spirit. Yeah, 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 oh, that's a sad so story. So you lose the trial and you get 50 years, uh, right? And what happened then? I lose the trial. I'm waiting for my first appeal, direct appeal. Sure. Because I, I ask you for a new trial. I never ask you to reduce my cent because I don't got no cent. They give to me the cent, right? The cents, yeah. Um, uh, late one year later, the police defender in Miami did it to me, the, my, my, my direct appeal, I never see nobody. Only in the phone one time. No, no phone, later, I'm sorry. Um, they reduced the 15 year. They run, run together with the 50 year. 15 year for beggar uh, for intentions as a bar. Right. Re they reduce. I never ask you for that, for nothing. Or they reduce to five years because the maximum is Isn't that suspect that there's something wrong when they come up with the reduce? Yeah, the maximum, the 15 year, the intentions as a bar, the maximum cent is five years. Maximum, yeah. Maximum. Okay. They break the law, but they did it, they did it purpose. Okay, when did he did the first appeal, only we re reduced the 50 years to five, but we don't, don't touch. You wonder why we need Give legal reform. Go, you know, yeah. Yeah. I, I asked you for a new trial. Okay, let me go to a point. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This point is in terror for me because I run it for 10 years like a slave, like a rat. It's in terror. Let me tell you something. I do better time in prison when I run it from prison. So you escape? Right? Yeah, yes, so tell me the truth. You escaped, escaped the prison. I'm waiting for, for the first Can you talk about that too? Yeah, for, why not? Let me, let me, let me hear not? how you do it. How'd you okay. do that? Okay, first, I waited for my first appeal. They denied my new trial. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, I said, okay, I want to get out of here. I want to prove. And I don't blame you. I want to get out of here too. <laughs> yes, but they judge me now. Yeah. They get mad with me because I escaped. They try to compare my escape with the two real criminals. New York escaped. Yeah. Right? Why yeah. they don't want to give to me my compensation? Okay, I'm waiting. I said, God, I have to get out of here. I finished reading Papillon. Do you know ever read a mm -hmm. Papillon? Si. The book? Butterfly. Yeah, Butterfly. But Butterfly later in the movie, Marlo Brando made a movie. <laughs> I read in the real Papillon. Sure. Okay, he tries. I said, okay. 
that, that, book, that book motivated to me. I read the Bible, my first Bible. I read it in prison, turn to God, all right? Um, my first Bible in my life, because in Cuba, you're in trouble before, okay? Um, I say I had to get out of here, but that's a long history. The other part, you had to go to real prison break. Mm. No, <laughs> I know, but give a short summary. And sure, give okay. a short summary. We got to stay on point. We got okay. Only, only, only we got about oh, okay, uh, ten only, minutes left. Only, only I do it. Only I did it. My escape. They compare when I escaped in Florida from maximum security because I got fifty years sent. Right. Uh, they compare my escape like. Uh, how do you say, no violent escape? Right. Perfect, perfect, perfect escape, perfect. Stop the best, Stop the best. best. Yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> only I do it. I don't hurt nobody. I don't broke nothing. I don't destroy nothing. Only I do it, jump the fence. Jump the fence. With pair of gloves, with three pair of pants, with three pair of socks, we call razor blade, uh, razor fence. Nobody you know? saw you with the razor fence anymore. Well, when we jump, the first, the first thing, alarm, alarm, a star yeah. sign. Ooh. Yeah. When you we jump, the second fence, the dog still bite, make a noise, the dog, because they died, the dog inside the prison. Yeah. But I got black pepper. You know black pepper? Yeah. I spray black pepper. Good man. The dog can't follow me. The crazy thing too, he he uh, when he realized he thought they were getting close, he jumped in the water, even though there's alligators there. So he stayed in the he stayed in the water, even though it was alligators <laughs> for, for like two hours. February in Palm Beach County is cold. February, yeah. yeah so I'm yeah, waiting, I, I waiting for the bad weather, real bad weather. Yeah, we yeah. I escaped with this, uh, one guy, a uh, good guy. I believe he got on parole. He served to United States. I believe he's a veteran from Vietnam and Korea War. But do you remember that moment they don't they don't take care of the people? Oh yeah. They yeah. go to a street, play hippie, whatever. So, you I, know? I'm a Vietnam veteran, I know. Okay, but about, he's yeah. a good guy. Let me tell you something, my respect for my escape partner. Yeah, yeah. Bless you, brother. So right, you're on the run for ten years, right? I run for ten years later. And then you get and ten years I do very good. Work. And let uh, believe it or not, believe it or not. Believe when I escaped from prison, I run from prison because I, I go around the United States, never leave in the country. Around the United States. I hide in New York. I hide in when winter time. You know, winter time, New York is good and Chicago is good. Um, I don't bother nobody. I don't respect nobody. You did, know? Did you work? I work with different names. But you know, if you use somebody else's social security, sure, sure, you have yeah. to work only for one year. Yeah. Because the lady, if you don't fill it out the income tax, yep. they discover it, they find you. And, good question, good question. I go to a Day County, the County Day, Day jail. Day County in Florida. Right? And, and Miami. Okay. Yeah, I put the, I help to my friend, Serafin, to put the cabin over there inside. Yep. Gabinet, the cabin, yeah. And my time they feel it. I go inside. They know that. Because <laughs> I'm talking about that. Um, until in 10 years. Why they use, why they started used to me from the escape. If it's something little happy, why well, I'm running from prison. Yep. I had to survive it. Let's yeah. go to that for just a minute about you leaving and the naturalization. Because you, you would not qualify because you escaped. Escape as something little happy. Uh, it, and 10 years and but, you, but you're innocent uh, in reality so when this is all found out and discovered and you are exonerated and you're no longer guilty of the crime that you supposedly committed if, even though you escaped shouldn't that be washed away because the reality is you were falsely imprisoned anyway why why can't that justification occur for him do you know well it should but florida has what's called the okay the let me explain you want to do okay Go okay <laughs> okay i get on to justices one inmate, Alec Cross, he got around 2006, sent to me. Same, three months before, same year. They give the compensation to him. He got record before and after. What happened? They give the compensation, try it out to Alec Cross. But they don't give to me because I escaped, you know? Mm. And yeah, I not only because I escaped, I'm sorry, 
because they deport me when they exonerated me immigration got me for three months for three three months i had to sign my deport papers with different different action different action you sign you deport but so, they not deport they froze it do you know why i have to do that because if you are not signed they deport immigration can hold me any time they want because I came from Cuba in 1980, Maria Rito. I'm not understanding what that was like, Jeff. Can you t interpret it a little bit? I came in 1980, okay? Yeah. Immigration. When, okay, when, I, when they exonerated me, immigration got me. I have to sign the deport. The deport. Yeah, the, the, the sign a deport. Slip. Deport. If, deport you not, if you are not signed the deport, I never get out from immigration. So an immigration, what, would jail you, or what would happen? Yeah, now hold me. For oh, they would keep you? Indefinitely, yeah, because... Indefinitely. Indefinitely, because they just that only for, for people like me, can, like, like me, came 1980. But the reason they had you in there in the first place is because they said you committed crime by you no, escape, no, no, right? No, 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 What was no, it that no, they no. were using? No, 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 no. Immigration don't use the escape. So immigration the word, use. Mm -hmm, what they use? I don't got my green card when they arrest me. Ah, okay. I don't, I don't, okay. I, I'm illegal. I'm illegal. Okay, we got about two or three minutes left. What I want to spend my time on here is your re, re, uh, integration. Integration, integration back. Up. What, ha what has that been like? It's been good, está bien, and no está bien, and has it been good for you to, are you happy now? Did you have trouble uh, when you uh, come back, when you were exonerated? Well, good, good, okay. We only okay. have about two minutes. Be okay, fair. I'm, hap I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy with me because I'm a free ego. Free ego. I'm born. I'm yeah. born again. Right. But uh, innocent player in New York and Florida, they support. They they helped to me for ten years, for ten years. And I got. I live in the in, in the bad town now in Fort Myers, Florida. Mm -hmm. The first city in Fort Myers have more drug problem. I live in over there. I in, in the 32 foot small trailer. Yeah. At this moment. And it's hard for you financially, right? The bottom line to all this, because it's you, real hard, because real you hard. don't have no compensation, no, it's, it's very it's hard, hard for you. Okay, okay. that's okay. the point. Real hard He's happy me. to be free, but his living conditions are substandard but because he haven't been compensated. Yeah. He doesn't want to complain because he's out. And, you know, so basically he feels good that he's out, but even for though the, sure. the, what you have in front of you, like you, Je you too, Jeff, you had to go through a metamorphosis. You had to be yes. somebody different. Your family didn't know you. Uh, I want to go to Cuba. I want to go to Cuba. Well, now I don't got no money now. to go to Cuba. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm American maybe citizen. Maybe figure out a way to yeah, do that for him, you know? And, yes. and, and I want to throw this point. This point. I'm not political man, but I'm not political okay. man. But that's ironic. President Barack Obama yeah. here in Cuba and watch a baseball game with you the guy tiger. All right? I can't go back to Cuba. I'm sorry that that has happened. I wish you an opportunity to do that. Thank Certainly you, sir. At least Thank you. I'm familiar. sorry about my English. No, it's all right. It's okay. We can, we can uh, scratch this up a little bit. It's magic we can do here, but we got to cut it out now. You've been watching FIT TV, the program that brings you behind the scenes of our divorce culture. At FIT, we know you cannot get this information on your own, so we'll bring it to your TV every single week. And of course, we always invite all opposing views. My name is Chris DiMaggio, and thank you very much for watching FIT TV, and we'll see you again next week.